Welcome to another beginner tutorial video. In this video we will learn how to create a simple portal. This is a very basic method to create portals. I really hope you create your own portals in your games. So now let's start. You can start with your current game or level. I created for this tutorial a very simple scene with a basic player controller. Let's start by creating our portal. For the portal we will use plane with an emission color. I want the portal to be a vertical plane in front of the player. We have to adjust some scaling and also rotation on the X axis. This is perfect. Make sure that you give the portal a name. We need it later for the logic nodes. I also like to give my portal a bright glowing color. For this we simply have to set it to emission. Give the glowing strength a higher value like something to 10. The plane is by default invisible at the backside. To fix that, check the two sided checkbox and it should be now visible both side. Now very important. Apply the rotation and scale of the plane by hitting Ctrl and A. To test it I duplicate the ground plus the portal and set it next to the current platform. This is the second portal. I also rename it for the nodes later. If you want you can change the color like me but you can do it like you want. Now if we go into the green portal we want to get to the other side. We will set this up by the logic nodes. The next step is to create an O tree and apply it to the scene. Split the viewport and set it to the logic nodes editor.
So now everything is set up and we can finally start. We need the volume trigger node because it checks if we walk into the portal. Now we want to check if the player walks into the second object and that is the portal one. After we walked into the portal we need to set a new location. We want the player to change its location. For the location we connect to get location node. We want to get the location of the portal too. Let's see how it works. You can see that we can walk in but we can't go back. To walk back we simply can just copy these nodes and change the portal. If we play the game now you will see that we can't go in the portal. The reason for that is, if we spawn to the other portal we will immediately spawn back because the location origin is in the portal. We can fix that by settings some space between the portal and the player. We add a vector math node and set it in between. Now we can set a distance between the portal and the player. You see that the portal faces to the positive y axis that means that we have to set a value to the y axis. Now it works because of the distance in between. But we have to do the same thing for the other portal. Be careful we the value isn't right because, the portal faces to the negative y axis. That means we have to set a negative value.
If you create portals make sure which direction the portal is facing because, you have to set the distance. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you know now how to create a very simple portal. Also have a beautiful day.